Filter options are convenient for target users and Experience Builder makes it super easy for us to configure them. Once you've placed your filter widget on your canvas, the first thing you're going to do is click to add a new filter. And then you're going to select the data set. I'm going to choose all wildland fires and I'm going to label this first filter as 2016 wildfires. I have the option of changing my icon to any of the, the icons that Experience Builder already has embedded, or I can choose an icon from my computer that I've customized in a PNG or a GIF or a JPEG. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a SQL query expression. You can either add a clause or you can add a clause set. For this filter, I'm going to add a clause that says the fiscal year is equal to a unique field value that already exists within the data set. And I'm going to choose 2016 and press OK. I'm going to save this because Experience Builder won't save for you. So you're going to want to save often when working with this builder. I'm going to go through the same steps. And this time I'm going to make a 2015 wildfires filter and create the clause that says that the fiscal year is equal to the unique field value of 2015. I'm going to press OK. And then, as you can see, we have the criteria options of and and or. So I want users to be able to see both 2015 and 2016 wildfires at the same time if they wish. So I'm going to choose the criteria of or. I'm going to save, and then we can preview our application. It might take a second for the filter to become active because this is a really big data set. Okay, so now when I filter by 2016 or 2015 fires, you can see that the map view has altered. You can also realize that these filters are working without having to set up triggers and actions, and that's because the filter widget is set up to automatically work with the framework data set, which means that any widget that's using the Wildland Fires feature layer will be filtered along with this widget. If you've enjoyed this video, pre please press the like button below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for content updates.